Are you ready for Square Enix to release a new Final Fantasy Tactics game? Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to join the ranks of Soldier today. Stay tuned, soldiers. It's time for our next mission. What's up everyone, I'm Soldier First Class, and today's mission, we're going to talk about how a new Final Fantasy Tactics game is what Square Enix should be making after part 1 of the Final Fantasy 7 remake is finished. One of my top 5 favorite Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy Tactics left a lasting impression on me as a gamer. It featured an amazing and well-written story, characters and subplots that brought out emotion, an impressive soundtrack, and fantastic character building in the job system. It was the game that all other tactical games are compared to. So why should this game be the next project for Square Enix? We haven't gotten a console tactics game since 1990 as all future iterations were created on handheld devices or mobile phones. A new tactics game would appease longtime fans who have been wanting a console release since the original launched on PlayStation 1. In fact, the last FF Tactics game launched in 2013 on iOS and Android, but was terminated in 2014 and was only released in Japan. Fans outside of Japan have not seen a tactics game since 2008, with Advance 2 releasing on Nintendo DS. Fast forward 11 years later, and Square Enix has not shown any signs of producing a future tactics game, even though the tactics series are some of the best-selling games in the franchise. Between the original PlayStation 1 version, the PSP release, and the mobile phone version, Final Fantasy Tactics has sold almost 3 million copies. But what makes it so amazing that fans would want a new tactics game? It has one of the most well-written stories in the entire franchise, and one that would make George R.R. R. Martin proud. A story deeply rooted in betrayal, political and civil unrest and a war-torn nation, Final Fantasy Tactics has one of the darkest plots in the entire series. If you're a fan of HBO's Game of Thrones, i definitely suggest checking this game out. But how could Square Enix create a new tactics sequel that feels fresh but doesn't lose the core gameplay that we all love? My suggestion is to update the style of the game to be more modernized. I don't mean change the art style, because honestly I think the bitmap sprite models and 3D maps really complement the genre. Evil East and Tactics is pretty medieval in design, but occurs after the events of Final Fantasy XII. Technology once ruled in Evil East, but failed and times became more primitive. The new tactics game could be set in the future of Evil East, where technology has once again risen to new heights, and with that modernization, certain characters or jobs could have become obsolete or even non-existent. Maybe there's no longer any knights, but some are still hanging on to the old ways. They can modernize the gameplay and the job system, but combine the two elements in the narrative, or even have the characters find a way to modernize the jobs themselves, yet keep the traditions alive. Character design could reflect these changes and give the job system a new coat of paint while sticking to the core archetypes they are based on. The knight equivalent could wield updated swords and armor, and mages could use new ways to call forth their magical abilities. Maybe new white mage attack spells other than holy have been discovered. Maybe black mages have figured out a way to combine status effects with their attack magics. With advancement in weaponry and magic comes updated medicine as well. The alchemist class would fundamentally be the same, but new medicine items could make their way onto the battlefield, and discovering new ones through research could be their specialty. Prestige classes such as Dark Knight, Summoner, and Doctor could all be obtained once a unit has reached a certain level. If implemented in this way, it wouldn't just feel like you're mindlessly guiding your units to their death. You might actually care that Lars the Knight dies on the battlefield because the narrative has told you that knights are a dying breed. This type of narrative will drive you to care about every single unit under your control and will create a living world that you can get immersed in. A modernized Final Fantasy Tactics could be incredible for the genre. I enjoyed Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, but didn't get the same connection with it that I did from the original. The XCOM games have been successful in the modern market, so I have no doubt that a new Final Fantasy Tactics would be a commercial success. The tactics genre hasn't changed a whole lot, but it honestly doesn't have to. If Square Enix announced that pre-orders were open for a new Final Fantasy Tactics, project, I'd have it pre-ordered 5 seconds after the announcement. I've been waiting for years for a new Final Fantasy Tactics game that gave me the same feelings that the original PS1 release did. Maybe after the first part of the Final Fantasy 7 remake is complete, Square Enix could look into this project. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to omni slash that like button. Let me know in the comments section below if you'd love to see a new Final Fantasy Tactics game. Subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell to join the ranks of Soldier today. For everything Final Fantasy, I'm Soldier First Class, and I'm on to the next mission. Later guys.